Here's Chief Meteorologist Chris Boone. Well, we may take a moment to put a pause on the Your Weather Authority, maybe your Geology Authority, as we kind of talk about, again, the earthquake, the 5.4 that we saw off in West Texas. We actually felt some of that shaking here in the Concho Valley, and as far as way as Dallas actually felt some of the shaking from that four, from that 5.4 earthquake. It was out towards the Mentone area. Again, in fact, that is the third strongest earthquake in the state of Texas. Again, the strongest, 6.5, 91 years ago, 27 years ago for the second strongest at 5.7 today again that 5.4 and then the other two uh, round out that top five two years ago at five and then just under five a magnitude of 4.8 that was 11 years ago so again showing you really just how impactful it was across the area showing you just how again strong that earthquake really was switching back to weather again the switching gears much colder across the united states still seeing those cold temperatures through 20s across much st louis 20, 29 degrees 23 in omaha 30 degrees in oklahoma city but we've still been hanging on to some 40s here in the lone star state and we've been seeing that cold air across much of the United States. Not a whole lot of snow associated with it. Oh, again, we have seen a little bit of that cloud coverage for us throughout the Concho Valley. We saw it this afternoon. Again, all that alto stratus and alto cumulus clouds that kind of moved in from the west. That's going to hang on for us tonight. One of the reasons we're going to stay a bit warmer and a bit closer to above average as we kind of go in towards tomorrow, we'll see less and less of this cloud coverage. That's going to allow those temperatures during the overnight lows to cool down even more. 45 degrees right now in downtown San Angelo. The dew points out of, or the temperatures rather uh, dew points into the mid 20s and those winds out of the northeast at three miles per hour though as we get into tomorrow afternoon we'll see those winds start to turn a little bit more out of the south and southwest 40s for much of the concho valley 42 in mason 45 in brady 46 for coleman do have a couple 30s on the map 39 degrees in junction again one of the cooler spots in the concho valley everybody else right now into the 40s as we continue in towards the evening and overnight hours we'll see those temperatures drop a few more degrees again getting back down into to those mid 30s so hovering just above that freezing mark again but we're going to hang on to the cloud coverage that's going to keep what little heat that we do have trapped inside the again we won't start to see radiating that heat back until tomorrow evening that's where we're going to see those overnight lows just a bit lower for us tomorrow We'll see those temperatures top out into the upper 50s for the afternoon high. Again, a little bit more sunshine as we see less of that cloud coverage. Winds out of the southwest, 5 to 10 miles per hour. So, again, that's going to help to keep things a little bit warmer, but it's very short-lived as we see our next shot of some cold air kind of work its way in towards the northern parts of the state. By Friday afternoon, that pushes in towards our area as well. And we're going to see some of those cooler temperatures for us going into late Friday, early Saturday. Then as we head in towards next week, we'll start to see a little bit of a warm-up kind of going in towards the beginning of next week. And with this first shot that comes through on late Friday, early Saturday, could see a couple of flurries of some possible snow, especially in our northern parts of the Concho Valley and just to the north, out towards maybe Abilene and in towards Interstate 20. We're not expecting a whole lot of accumulation. If we see anything at all, this is going to be during those very overnight hours, again, 2 to 3 in the morning. Better rain chances, though, we could see in towards the south eastern parts that's going to kind of continue in towards the afternoon hours and then we'll start to clear things out before we see another shot of some very isolated rain chances for us on monday very cooler temperatures the past week we're going to see a little bit of a kind of warm-up kind of as we go in towards the 8 to 14 days so as we finish up the month of november we can start to see a little bit above average temperatures just starting near the thanksgiving time frame so much colder as we head in towards the weekend then we'll start to warm up going into next week